Hi, it's Hazel. I was just going to film a quick what's in my stripper bag video before I leave to go be on a podcast. So I've been living, working, and dancing in Atlanta for about three months now. I honestly have not gone through my bag in like a week. I took a week off and here we are and it hasn't been opened. So the first thing that I'm going to pull out is my makeup kit. Honestly, I bring my shittiest, most brokedest makeup to work because I'm usually sweaty and disgusting when I'm reapplying it and putting it all on. So I have all the basics for like a full face in here, an old beauty blender. I don't know. Maybe I should bring nicer stuff to work, but honestly, it's not worth like it. I have two pairs of stripper heels. I always advise bringing a backup pair of shoes. I have been at work and busted through a pair of shoes. For example, these ones are about to go. If you can see right here, I'm busting through the back a little bit. So whenever these do decide to die, I will have a backup pair. Um, also in here, I have deodorant. I like to use the Arm & Hammer deodorant. It's baking soda base, so it smells really fresh. You can also put it near your leg. <laughs> like right before you go out on the floor, it just gets everything fresh, feels like a shower. I get rosemary lavender scent. Um, throughout the bottom of my bag are some tampons. These OB tampons are the best tampons for strippers because there's no applicator, it's just like this. Um, so when you unwrap it, the string comes out, you can wrap the string around your tampon. It's like you're not wearing anything. Um, all right, I have a variety of work outfits. When I wanna look hood, when I wanna look sweet, I've got two chokers in my bag. If I wear something simple, usually I'll put on this choker just because it's like cute. Like this. Oh, this is other little makeup, but this usually is in my purse. I don't know why it's in this shoulder bag. I have my breathalyzer stick. So in Atlanta, before you can leave the club, you have to blow. Um, into a breathalyzer um, to show that you're not drunk and if you are too drunk they will make you stay and you can't leave until you're less drunk um, I have a really old like almost empty perfume this is the like Brazilian bum cream perfume I don't know it smells really good it's like vanilla makeup brush that should go in my makeup kit. More work outfits. This is a, something I haven't worn yet. It's like a netted dress. It's like an off-the-shoulder dress, but it's just fishnet. The whole way. Um, another thing for when you're dancing in Atlanta, um, none of the clubs that I've worked at have allowed you to have a money bag so you have to have a garter. This can go around your arm, around your leg, and this is where you keep your money secured with a rubber band, um, just because you're not allowed to have a bag on the floor. I don't know why that's a thing here. Other um, states I've worked, you're allowed to have a money bag. Um, another thing some clubs make you do as well, carry a fan. I don't know, that's just some weird law in Atlanta. Um, some other clubs make you wear a booty cover, which is basically just like a sash, and it's supposed to cover 80% of your butt, but the way the girls wear it doesn't cover anything. We like tie it in a tight little knot. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything in my stripper bag. When I go to work, I go in ready, so I do my makeup at home. Then I just can quickly change and hit the floor, and I don't have to be like, I don't know like in the locker room longer than I need to be. Tampon. 
And that is what is in an Atlanta stripper's bag.